In this lecture, we are going to talk about how we can apply Scamper in problem solving and in new product development. If you look at the below diagram, it illustrates the life cycle of a problem and how it is solved. Similarly, on the other side, there is another diagram which talks about the product development life cycle. A lot of organizations today use approaches such as design thinking, PDCA, which is from Total Quality Management, DMAIC, DMAC, Agile, Scrum, and many other similar models, which I would say are generic models for either solving problems or for developing new products. Now, solving a problem and developing a new product are vastly different, but for us, when it comes to creativity, I would still put it under the same bucket. So I'm going to take one such schema, which I call as a double diamond, and it consists of two cycles. In each cycle, there is a divergence and then there is a convergence. So let us now understand this double diamond a little bit better. And that can give you some idea about the problem solving approaches also. So we start with an unsolved problem. Here our focus is to define the problem, its scope, understand its impact on the business, etc. The next thing for us to do is to brainstorm and identify all possible reasons. Then we have a variety of techniques that we can use to do that. For example, we can use tools like the fishbone diagram or the brainstorming tools which are widely used like focus group discussions. We can have interviews with the customers. We can do a variety of things to identify all possible reasons. Once we have identified all possible reasons, then we try to use data or facts to filter and find out what really is the root cause of the problem. So you start narrowing down. So you get into the mode of converging now. So we have covered the first divergence and the first convergence. So the first diamond is completed. Now, by the end of the first diamond, you have some idea about what the causes are. And we talked about the causes again when we talked about a problem and how we can solve that problem. So I'm sure you are again able to relate back to the problem. If it is a product development, again, we need to know what are the customer problems. What is hindering the customers from, from using your product more? Now we start with the second diamond. In the second diamond, having identified the root causes, we again diverge and try to identify all possible reasons. And when we talk about possible reasons, that's where we start using Scamper. Once we have identified all possible reasons using our creativity hat, then we go into mode of selecting some of the best ideas. So we start narrowing down or converging again. And that completes the second cycle. And by the end of the second cycle, that is the second diamond, you are ready with the solution to be implemented. So I would say that when we are using a problem solving approach, whatever methodology you use, there is always a divergence and a convergence. And Scamper is largely useful when we want solutions. When we are trying to define what the problem itself is, I think Scamper may not be very useful. In fact, if you are a participant in a brainstorming session, you can use Scamper very effectively to generate viable solutions than others. Now talking about the product development cycle, which is very similar in some form or the other, we start by understanding the customers. So that clarity gives us some idea of what the real concerns of customers are. Then we start ideating for various solutions. Once we have done the ideation using Scamper, we move on to the next phase where we pilot the solutions. And at times, even at the stage of piloting, to refine the solutions, we may need to apply Scamper. Then we go and implement it. So that is the cycle, broad cycle of product development. Even design thinking has a very similar framework. So whether you're a design thinker, 
whether you are not a design thinker, you can still apply Scamper in your day to day work if you are a designer. If you are not a designer, if you are someone who is responsible for day to day work in any other industry, you can still apply Scamper to make the life of yourself, your team members and your colleagues easy. Needless to mention the life of the customers.